kicking to get a budget to the Missouri governor's desk with a constitutional deadline set for Friday. And senators just don't seem too worried that they haven't even debated the spending plan yet. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley explains what the holdup is. Live from Jefferson City, Emily, time's running out. It really is, and it's a reoccurring question that's been going on here in the State House now for a couple of days, even weeks now. When are lawmakers going to get a budget to the governor's desk? They've over only missed it one time, and that was back in the 90s. After a short and heated session yesterday, senators came in today and debated a handful of bills, but none of them included the $50 billion plus dollar spending plan. We're coming down to the end and tempers are a little bit short. And last week we were held here for over 40 hours for basically what I would consider nothing. A standstill that puts a piece of Medicaid funding in the state's budget in jeopardy. When you balance your budget at home, you you have an idea of what your, your limits are going to be. And it's fiscally irresponsible to pass a budget before an FRA gets done. Another day passes in the Senate, and yet no discussion of the budget or the federal reimbursement allowance. It was thought that by now the upper chamber would have renewed the FRA, a tax paid for by medical providers like hospitals. That brings in $4.5 billion for the state's Medicaid program. But Freedom Caucus members are demanding otherwise. The idea, though, that I'm going to let the FRA go, that I'm going to let it go, where the governor can't find time in his day to sign a Planned Parenthood defund bill. The governor is saying he's going to sign the bill on his own time once it goes through the review process. Senate Majority Leader Cindy O'Loughlin blames the standstill on campaigns. Having the elections, and that just brings a whole new dynamic to the Senate and, and just makes it even more convoluted than it normally would be. Many are concerned with each passing minute. The General Assembly is closer to a special session. We're pretty committed to not having to do that. I mean, I think that that's a, um, an unnecessary use of taxpayer money for all of us to come back and do something that we feel like we can get done now. Now, as for tomorrow, O'Loughlin says it's going to be a heavy lift in the Senate. It's kind of the day we've all been waiting for. It's expected that senators are going to come in and debate and pass the FRA, then go to the budget, and then after all of that, they're going to bring up the initiative petition legislation, which we've reported on a handful of times, increases the number of votes needed to approve a constitutional referendum. Now, that is a subject that Democrats say they will stand up and oppose. Of course, we'll keep you updated right here on Fox 2. For now, reporting live in Jefferson City tonight for our Missouri State Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.